Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to all the girls out there, all the women out there. Um, I've been crying already today over nothing, over absolutely nothing. I don't even know why I just started crying. Um, and I can't even process like a logical thought. I think that, um, I'm sure I'm probably hormonal, you know, um, being a girl is difficult. <laughs> like I know you guys out there have hormones too. Okay. So yeah, hormones are challenging. Okay, that is like the ups and downs, the roller coaster of emotions that come with fluctuating hormones, not to mention the fact that I'm on a million medications. So who knows how those are affecting me? Although I didn't even take my medications today, so I can't blame it on that. <laughs> but I'm sure there's other stuff. There's other stuff out there I can blame it on. There's got to be something. Um, I blame it on being a girl. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm choosing to blame emotional instability like this I don't understand why I can't process a logical thought um, it's like I do occasionally have little thoughts that drift in, in and out of my head but I'm having a really hard time um, focusing and this might be cognition this might be like a um, cognitive thing with the multiple sclerosis, it might be a uh, um, depression, a psychological thing, and some kind of, you know, maybe there's something going on. My counselor and I are actually going to be working um, even more, like we already are, but we're going to start really focusing on um, finding the I, I have PTSD. Okay, she thinks I have PTSD. I've never been officially diagnosed with it, but um, I was in, you know, my illness for one is a traumatic, a traumatic situation, you know, going into a wheelchair. Like, basically, that's going to give anyone PTSD no matter how it happens or whatever. Um, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not a psychologist. Don't take my advice because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that we think that I was also like, there was a period of, in my life when I was in an abusive relationship. And um, I've since gotten out of that, that, you know, I'm, I'm okay, but I still have trauma that like sometimes things trigger me. Okay, which is weird. But that's just the reality of PTSD. That's the reality of abuse. That's the reality of um, just a life of like you're, when your brain can't handle something and it like, I don't know, it like builds a, it shuts down. It can't process the emotions right now. So it skips over that and it goes to this and this and this and this and this and this and this, and this you know to everything else but he can't deal with that bad thing that happened and so um, then once your life it's all all this stuff is all kind of getting into place then your brain remembers that you have this thing in the background that you haven't dealt with and then like a little thing will come up over here and it'll trigger it and all of a sudden it's back here and it's like defeating you know it's it's I mean maybe it's not as defeating as it used to be like back when I was in that situation I was very um very like down on myself I I felt really um worthless and um so like now I don't feel that at all. I feel very valuable in so many ways. And um, I hope that each of you out there who's watching this video feels valuable too, because you actually are. No matter what you tell yourself, no matter what somebody else tells you, you are very valuable. Like each of us are, we all have something that we can contribute to this world in a way that no one else can do. There is no one else who has your unique 
circumstances that you can you can take your life and make it into this thing that you never knew it could be okay so anyway like life is life is so worth it life is good you are valuable no matter what you've been told um anyway but like i don't even know what i'm saying i don't know what the point is this like i want to get off here because my battery is going to die on my phone and and i don't even know what i'm saying but i hope uh, oh, oh, like I was, the point I was getting at was the fact that my very, my brain goes to this situation, goes scattered all over the place, and it might, it might be a side effect of PTSD too, because your brain, you're still trying to, like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe if you dealt with that, then maybe you could find focus in other areas, maybe not though. Maybe you just don't have focus. Maybe you have ADHD. Maybe you're bipolar. Maybe you have depression. Maybe maybe you're just having a bad day. Maybe you're a girl. <laughs> hey, that's all the excuse that we need. So shout out to all you girls out there um, because it's hard. And to all you guys out there, hey, I'm sure you've got a lot of hard stuff too. Um, so... Here's to you and hope you make today a great one.